Just days after Princess Charlene returned back home to Monaco after spending six months in South Africa, away from her husband, Prince Albert, and two children, the royal is now in a treatment facility, quote, outside of Monaco. In an exclusive interview with People, Prince Albert said his wife is suffering profound exhaustion, both emotional and physical, and noted that she was overwhelmed after returning back home and, quote, couldn't face official duties, life in general, or even family life. Prince Albert didn't disclose Charlene's location, but shared that she is somewhere else in Europe. He also told people that he had an intervention-style meeting with Charlene before she left to the treatment facility. Quote, she was very calm and very understanding. She realized herself that she needed help. You can't force anyone to understand that they need treatment. They have to accept that themselves, Albert said of the intervention. Charlene had been in her homeland country of South Africa since May after contracting a severe ear, nose, and throat infection, which required a number of corrective surgeries during her time away, including a major surgery that was reportedly four hours long to help alleviate the issue. The former Olympian's medical saga caused her to miss out on her 10th wedding anniversary with Prince Albert, which combined with her time away from Monaco, fueled tabloid rumors that the couple's marriage is possibly on the rocks. But Prince Albert told people once again that Charlene's time in South Africa and now in a treatment center has nothing to do with their marriage. And he also set the record straight on some other rumors circulating. Quote, because I know there are rumors out there, let me say, this is not COVID and it's not cancer related. It's not a personal relationship issue. And if you want to discuss another speculation, it isn't related to plastic surgery or facial work at all. Prince Albert told the mag. The Royal concluded his interview with people by noting that, quote, we have the support and love and friendship around us from these people and by the citizens of Monaco. I know we'll get through this.